Well, hello, everybody. It is now afternoon, not my normal morning. I am sorry for the delay. I actually have a kiddo home with me that I had to take into the doctor. So hence the delay in putting up the video. She's up resting. She's doing fine. We just had to get into the doctor for a little something, but she's all good. <laughs> so today oh, I'm moving everything off and I'm not even talking about what we're doing. Today we are going to be working in good morning, Trisha. Nice to see you. Uh, we are working on layering stamps and working with masks. Now the stamp set I am using is right here. <laughs> stamp set I am using for this is one, oops, flying stamp went off, that came from Stampendous. And a cool thing that comes when you get a Stampendous stamp set is that they give you this, it's a stencil, but technically it's also a mask. So I put little black dots on them. And if you notice, you can pop them out and we're actually gonna be using them two, both ways as the stencil and as the mask. And you can pop it right on and it fits exactly for the space of the stamp. Now, what if you don't have the stamp set? What can you do? And my hint to you is go ahead and put a little dot on it using a black alcohol marker or some sort of alcohol marker because I dropped it on the floor last night while I was prepping this card and I could not find it. And so I was like, how am I gonna find these things? And so that's what I did, I put a little black dot. And now I can see it easier because I can see that there's a, because they hide. I mean, look how, I don't know if you can see that far, but they truly hide because they're so clear. And therefore now I see the black dot and I can find it. So just a little, little tip and trick for you. What if you do not have this particular stamp set that comes with, because it says and stencil. Um, and when you get them, you have to pop them out. So here's one that has not been popped out yet, but it's very, very simple to do. Well, you can do it what the old fashioned way. You get yourself a sticky note. And so it's sticky on the back side. I have to add the sticky to this, otherwise it won't be sticky. And it's very, very simple, which I'll show you when we get to that part. You can take yourself a sticky note and First step, if you have nothing, you only have a stamp set, you stamp it and you fussy cut it out. And there is your mask, works great. Um, you also wanna be careful because if you fussy cut it out, you wanna leave the, the other side because you do use the positive and the negative. The positive would be this part and this would be the negative part. We are using both. So if you fussy cut it out, you have to tape it back so you have that image there. Post-it notes are great for this. The other option, Hi. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't get notified. That sucks. I went later than normal. So maybe you have to hit the little bell button to get notified. I'm not sure. I don't know how it works, but I know the bell button does make a difference. Anyway, the other way is if you have the dies, and this one does come with the dies, is you go ahead and die cut it out. And then you have the negative and the positive because the die is the exact, pretty close, the exact same shape as the stamp itself. So that's if you do not have this cool nifty system that they've given you out of, and I think every one of their stamps has the free stencil that comes with it. I've gotten two stamp sets from them and they both have that. So let's learn how to play with that. Let's have some fun. So we're gonna recreate this card, but do a little bit of some different tones. I pulled out a few other pinks. Um, this pink set I got from this and I like it because there's a couple of shades and I played with all three of these shades. And, and this one just has different pink shades that go really well with, I pulled out some pattern paper because I really wanted to have a pop of some pattern paper. So I pulled out my Misty Rose collection and I found some really pr pretty pattern paper. And for this next card, we're gonna use this one as a background. But I mean, truly any of your cards, I really kind of went for more of an elegant background. I'm also using one of these like marbly colored ones that has you know this kind of wash look. I don't know, it's really pretty. Good morning, everybody. Who well, haven't Carrie Ann? Nice to see you or read you. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, now I've kind of given a where we're going with it. We are going to use. You don't have to use a stamping platform. It just really does make your life easier. And I am going to do the exact same stamp that I used earlier. So I'm going to line that guy up. You can really actually, you know what? There are three different stamp. No, yeah. Let's use a different stamp since I already did the one. Let's change it up. I'm going to flip these guys over. So I'm going to pick this one, which means I have to pull the coordinating thing and it hangs like this. So this is, a, these are fuchsias. So fuchsia is a hanging flower. So the flower doesn't go up I mean, you could, the flower hangs down and that's kind of where we're going with this. So I want my first flower to go right about here. And there is a stem and we're going to be coming back to using the stem. I just want to make sure I'm not screwing up and putting my flower in the wrong way. The cool thing about this one is it also gives you like here, look, see, it gives you a little bit of some guidance on how the flowers, it gives you some samples on the backs of their dies and the stamp set. They both gave them. 
in different samples, which I thought was really cool. I wasn't getting the exact same sample um, in both scenarios. Sorry, I just had to line up a little something on here. All right, so making sure I am good. Yep. All right, so the first step is just stamping it up. I got so much crap everywhere around here. So frazzled today. Throws you off when something that you're not expecting, like having a kid home when you're used to being home and working. And it kind of, it just, it's fine. I mean, she's totally fine, but um, there we go. It just, it throws a wrench in what you normally, I'm a planner and therefore I'm like, ah, my plans are off. Oh, this one I actually already did pull. Okay, so here is where this is, and this is how you line this up. So this little plastic piece fits right on top, right there, but it's gonna move around on me. So you just take a tiny bit of adhesive, go on the side, it needs to stick down, and this stuff will pull off, so not like you're leaving there forever, and stick it down. Like I said, you could make your own masks with post-it notes. This is just super handy that these particular sets come with that. Okay, so that goes there. And then I'm going to reorientate my stamp. So I take my stamp, and this is not anything new. This is nothing, nothing new. And I want to have my other stamp just kind of hanging out right about here. This is a much bigger stamp than the last card that I did. So, yeah, that should work. Pick that up, and you can kind of see where it is. And it's going to look like there's I'm stamping over top, and you can see the whole thing. And as soon as I lift up that mask, it's like, oh, there it is. That's pretty cool. Stamp. And then you lift up the mask. And it looks like the flower is tucked behind. It's very, very easy. It looks a whole lot more fancier than it really is. But it's just, it's as simple as that. Okay, I'm done with my stamp. Step it, step it back on. And I am using, what ink am I using? I am using, this is actually Umbrella Crafts, but they rechanged the name. This one came from scrapbook.com. And it works really well with the inks that we're gonna be using. Okay, so don't get rid of your mask yet, which I just stuck it, there it is. And now I'm gonna stick my mask over top of the first one. Do, 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 do. No, here we go. Sticking my mask. No, hang on, I gotta rethink. It's, it's been a day, let me tell you. Okay, like I said, it's been a long, weird day. All right, I'm taking my mask, and this is the one that, so this is actually the stencil part, and I'm placing it over top. I have to think about how I'm arranging this here. So I'm placing it over top, just like this. Oh, I have this, I'm like, why is there an extra piece in the way? Because that little guy's in the way. Let's just take it off. There we go. Line it up. And this is where the purple tape comes in. Start taping down every little space that you can, so that way you do not have your mask move on you. Tape it everywhere. There we go. And then you can take your colors. So this is another method I'm gonna show you. We are actually going to paint and daub our colors in. So we're not gonna do any, you could color this if you wanted to and not worry about this, but it's just, it's kind of fun doing it this way. So I like to keep my daubers, these are all fresh because I've never used this color scheme here. I like to keep all my daubers in the same color family. So for instance, if this is pink, I'm not ever gonna go over and use it for gray and so forth. So one, each dauber's got its new color. And so I can see them, I have a chance them all stored. It's a very quiet crowd this morning. Nobody's really talking. I'm gonna do the first flower and I'm gonna hold it down with my hands and I'm gonna come in with the lighter color and I'm just gonna do the whole thing. And you can pounce it if you want or you can rub. I like kind of doing a little bit of both but mostly the pouncing because I don't want the stencil moving around on me. So there we go. So I just did the lighter color on that one. Now I gotta lift this guy up and it should have only colored on that one flower, a little bit of a smudge right there, but it's not too bad, it's not super noticeable. Now I'm gonna come back and relay down my stencil, here we go, on that first one, the one that I just colored, just like that, and then I'm gonna lay the stencil back over top of the second one, and anywhere that it's overlapping, look, it's completely colored. Oh, look, the stamp is starting to, I think I need to reapply a little bit of adhesive because I put, they're so flimsy, but they're so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit more adhesive on the back side of this just to make sure it doesn't wiggle on me. 
because I had been pulling it on and off and so forth. So putting that there. And you can just wipe these all down with a paper towel when it's all said and done. I mean, I haven't even cleaned this off, but this is a, it's not gonna stick because this is a chalk ink. So it really blends well. That's why I picked this ink to work with it. But any kind of blending ink would work just fine. There we go. And we're not done with our flower. I mean, you could leave it like that, but we're gonna be doing some other fun stuff. So set this down so it doesn't wiggle on you. And I'm gonna come in with another one in a little bit of a darker color, not too much darker. And dab again, I want to have a little bit of a difference in the colors between the two flowers. I didn't do that as well on the first set of flowers I did. So I'm really trying to do that on this one. And there's a little bit of a section right here that pokes out. So we're going to get that too. So there we go. Lift this up. And then lift up the mask. And that's how you can get two different colors of flowers. You could totally leave it just like that if you wanted to, but we're gonna add a little bit of definition. So this is where a paintbrush comes in. Um, I have a tiny, tiny bit of water. I just kind of poured it in here because I didn't have anything else. It's actually my paintbrush cleaning set. And I'm gonna come in with a little bit of a darker color. So I just got a little bit of a wet paintbrush and I'm just putting my paintbrush because it's gonna pick up the color. If you're not sure, just kind of test it on something and you can see. You can even put the paint on here, hit the dab it, and it's kind of like you're watercoloring with it. See, look. And so I'm just gonna come in and add little bits of color just to like the centers right in here. I wanna add a little more and I'm just going to shade darker, which is why I like having these ones that have all these different shades. Just go a shade kind of hitting right where the lines are right along here. So anywhere that looks like there's a crease or a new kind of a petal is starting, I'm just adding a little bit of a darker shade just to add a little bit of texture. Anywhere there's a black line, I'm gonna come in and add a little bit of something. So it's just adding a little bit more of kind of a color to it, all right? Since I've got basically the exact same color, I can use the same brush. And I went and I used the color I just painted is the color I did on the second flower. So I'm gonna go with the other color and you can see, look, it's even darker. So I'm gonna pick up the other color, make sure I get a nice kind of, like I said, we're kind of watery coloring over top and doing the same thing, picking up, Kind of those darker colors, just right in here. There we go. I could even come in with that little bit of that purple. I don't know if it's gonna work with the, let me see how dark this is. Ooh, that's really dark. No, not doing that. <laughs> that's why I'm testing it on here. I wanna see, I'm like, is it gonna work? Is it not? Is it too dark? It's just adding a little bit of shading. That's all there is. It's kind of a little bit of color contrast. Now. If you notice right here, there's a little bit of a boo-boo. So I'm gonna come in with the same color that was supposed to be there. And this is where I can kind of fill in and make sure I don't have any white gaps because there were some spots that I didn't quite daub in there. And I'm using the color that originally came. Now you can also come in with just plain old water. I mean, this is not any kind of fancy stuff. Let me tell you, this is pretty basic, straightforward, but it's cool. And I feel like anybody could try and do this. Just pick two to three colors of ink that you can blend. It could be the Distress inks, it could be the Chalk inks, any brand that you have, any stamp that you have. Flowers are easy because you just kind of hit the centers. Now you can also come in with water and you can kind of do a little bit of blending now. These are all water-based inks, so they're gonna blend kind of like an alcohol marker. So they're gonna blend a tiny bit, not a ton, but a little bit. You don't, I don't want to oversaturate because this is not like a water color paper. This is just the standard Nina white paper, but there's a couple of spots where I was daubing on this darker one. I don't know if you guys can see that where it looks a little splotchy and I want to make it a little more even. So it's just kind of blending that color, making it not look like it's got white pieces in it. And I'm going to call that good. Maybe a tiny bit more of this darker pink. Yeah, I'm just want a little bit more. So because I didn't put the water, I put the ink directly onto my brush. See how much more vibrant it is? It's just that much more in your face. But, and the other thing I will say is that if you're stuck for what kind of colors and how to do it on the back sides, like of this particular one, look at all the different ideas they gave you for coloring. So it's not like, and flowers are easy. So that's basically what I'm doing right here. See how light it is? And then it's just light here. They kept the bottom part white on some of theirs too. So, you know, go with it. I decided to color the whole thing because that's what I do. 
I, I think it feels weird to leave it white. And I'm too likely to smudge it and ruin it if I keep it white. So I'm not doing that. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Okay, paintbrush off the side. We're gonna, cause this is why I have two, because we're gonna come back to the painting thing here in a minute. Clean off my space here. All right, we are also going to now add our stems. So here is our first stem and just do your best of where you think. I want one, it's gonna come right to that edge and if it doesn't quite make it, we're gonna do our best. So that's where the first one's gonna go. I could have stamped first, before I did any of my painting, but I don't think it matters too much. So come in here, ink this up, stamp it, and see, so look, it's a little bit off, but we're gonna fix that in a minute. Now, guess this, they also give you, before I stick my elbow in my ink, they give you the mask for this, because if you're gonna layer one flower behind the other, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing for the stem. And that is where I screwed up on the previous card. And if you can tell, see how you can see their paths crossing. It should have looked like this stem was behind, like it's behind in the flower. And I forgot to put my mask down. So solving that problem and fixing that. The cool thing is, is that I don't have to worry about trying to stick this down with a little tape runner. I'm just taking a little bit of my purple tape and I'm gonna line it down right close to the bottom because I don't want it to hit right where the mask is or right where the stem's gonna hit. I'm gonna curve my stem. The cool thing about this is I can curve it either way. And I'm gonna have it coming out of here. Hmm. You know what? I need to add my other mask back for my little flower because the stem for this guy is actually coming out and it's gonna cross over my flower. So I gotta stick my flower back down so I don't have a problem with that. So here we go. So you gotta think about those things. Is it gonna overlap? Is it gonna cause a problem? And if it does, just stick your mask back down. So don't get rid of your mask. And if you do the, the die cut with the, I can't think, if you do the die cut with the post-it note, that's the word, post-it note, you can save your post-it note inside your stamp pack. You know, I save all kinds of stuff inside the pack so they originally come in. All right, so I feel like it's coming between this leaf and this leaf, so it's basically right about here. Oops, so I gotta move this up because I was wrong in my placement. So let's move it up here, definitely won't overlap. And I'm doing it purposely to leave this space open to put my sentiment. So I feel like this stem should come right about, let's go there. So it crosses over and then go ahead and pick it up. Look at that, it was already clean. That's kind of weird. And stamp that down. And it looks like it's everywhere, but it's not. It's not anywhere I stuck my, so look, it looks like hiding behind. I just think it's like magic. Somehow, look, see, it's going right behind it. Magic. And of course, where'd I put my black pen? Oh, I didn't have my black pen in any one. All right, I think I got my pen now. Nope, that one's too thick. Rats, grab the wrong black pen. I just moved all my pens around and now I can't, oh, here it is. I made these little handy jars a long time ago and they store pens, but I have them all, and I kind of have them organized. So there's different size, here we go, this is a pen that I need. So I want this to continue, so I'm just using a black pen. And if you didn't do black, you did a different color, then try and match the color as best as possible. Black's easy because I always have a black pen. So now it's not the best job, but you get the idea. Okay, cover my ink. I have the worst habit of not covering up my ink. So bad. You guys are like seriously crickets today. Speak up. <laughs> oh, are we gonna have the, their stirrings upstairs? I don't know if she's making her way. She's resting in bed right now, but I can hear her moving. Like I said, my daughter's home today from school because we had to go to the doctor. So, okay, back to this, what we're doing. And we're gonna make a second car. For anybody who jumped in a little bit later, we're gonna do another version of this so I can show you basically like another color, but we're going to make it really pretty. We're going to do some of this minty color instead of sticking with the pinks. So I have my inks again, and this time I'm going to pick a different paintbrush because I don't want to have all the pink. I mean, I can clean the paintbrush, but I just decided it was go easier. And I really liked, so I can color swatch this. I liked that color 
to, of all the kind of the greeny colors that I have. I don't think I have one. Anymore. I was looking at all the different colors. You need something that's going to be water soluble. This is the background of the card. And this is why I also did the pinks because I think it really matched in with the pinks of that card. But that's about as close as I've got in terms of a dark color of, and it goes, it goes pretty good. Get my paintbrush. Let me put this up here so you guys can see what I'm doing. This is just water in here. It's just, this is how I clean my brushes, but I just need a little, little dab of water. And I didn't feel like pulling out a giant paint palette. So from here, I'm just coming in and I'm painting in versus trying to, um, you could color it in, but I'm keeping the same tone of color. I need to add more. So I was like, well, you know, if I can color it in, why can't I use my inks like paints? To me, it's kind of the same concept in a lot of ways, just not wet enough. And then watercolor it in, and I can make it as dark or as light. And I'm just following the line. I could even come in with a, a different tone. Like if I wanted to add a little bit of a brighter tone, I could pick up a different color ink. But it's just painting it in, tiny bit of water. If you want to pull out your watercolors and watercolor these versus the stamping thing, by all means, go for it. I just thought this was kind of fun. And I don't know if anybody's ever done this before. I kind of was inventing this as I went along. I was like, oh, why don't I try that? Why don't I try that? So and the masking thing is not anything new. Nobody's ever done that. But the painting with the brush, I don't know. <laughs> you got me on that one. I'm not sure. Okay. Move everything off to the side again. Lots of shifting as you're going around. And then I wanted to pick a nice, easy sentiment that I thought was really cool. So I found these ones from scrapbook.com. Nice and small. And this has this wonderful sentiment it says friends of the family you choose, which I think is great because this is just a wonderful, I stuck it on the stamp block so I wouldn't lose it and not have to rip open my thing again. And then just stick this up in the corner. All right, oops. Right there. Get the other stamp off of there. That would have been fun if I had stamped that and then smashed and ruined this entire thing. I think this is pretty straight. There we go. I'm not worried about putting this back in the corner because I'm just making sure that my stamp is lined up to my card. This is where you would ruin it. <laughs> you just have to be patient. I mean, I guess it's, I don't know. I really enjoyed this. I had on some music last night. Ooh, that's not dark enough. Loving the stamping platform for that reason right there. But obviously for everything else I did, it really did making the whole stamping procedure a whole lot easier. How did that, I misaligned. See, look, I screwed it up. <laughs> I, I did not budge. Maybe the paper moved a smidge. Crap. I guess that's why I should always put it in the corner. Does it look bad? <gasps> well, can't change it now. <laughs> it is what it is. Budgers. It's like a little bit of a blur. She left it. It's okay. Anyway, you get the idea. I did much better stamping on that one. See, we all make mistakes. <laughs> oh, man. Go figure. All right, so now let's layer up the card. Where are all the pieces? I just had them. There we go. All right, one last thing I want to do just to add a little bit of something, and this is, again, just a me thing. I still have a little bit of ink on my dauber, so I'm going to go ahead and ink it. And if you guys have noticed, I've got a little smudge where I overlapped and I went off with the green. I also have a little bit that I messed up my ink. They're not perfect. I totally messed up that stamp there. But, you know... It's handmade. That's what matters. And did I enjoy doing it? Yes. As I was saying before, I totally, look, I just did ah, that thing. You know, I was had my music on last night. I was prepping these cards, getting ready, and I was thoroughly enjoying sitting here and making my cards. Now, I wanted a little pop of black, and I'm almost out of black cardstock. So I had a paper stack that has this thing on the back. So I flipped over. Oh, you feel better that I screwed up? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. She's like, okay, well, you did it. Therefore, it's all good. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I can guarantee you every single card maker out there screws up. It's just on video when you see, unless it's live, like I just did. I, I totally, well, I don't know if I would have completely redone that. But what I could have done, and this isn't a fix that you could do, is instead of just stamping on the paper, you could have come in and added a banner and stamped over and covered that up. And so you could have added, you know, a white banner or something or done like a pink banner and covered up the boo boo. So there's always ways to kind of fix it, which I might do eventually. I don't know. I don't want to bore you guys at this point, And I didn't, I didn't cut this part of the card ahead of time, but I will. You just 
layer this on top of the card. It's very simple. So you get the idea of what it looks like. It's the same concept. So there are four, but two different kinds of flowers from the same stamp set. This one, I definitely went a lot more, it's a little bit more geared. And I didn't screw up the fact that I, I masked that this time. All right. So what if you don't want to do pink? Well, let's do a different one. I got one more we can do together that I have prepped. But I'm already yammering on. Well, how far are we? 25 minutes. I'm so glad you like the tutorial. I try to come up with something different for you guys every time we do one of these little card making Wednesdays. Okay, so do 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 which cards, which card, which ooh, I thought maybe what if we could do that and then we have a little hanging fruit? Well, I don't know. What do you think? Would that look fun? I mean we could just do both this far. Do you guys have an opinion? Should I do one of each? Or should I just stick with the bigger one? Come on, people, voice up. <laughs> I'll get prepped. I'll start off with a big one. You can tell me to stamp the next one or not. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm just afraid the big one, I'm going to run out of room. There, I'll do this because it's such a small space I'm working with. I could, I, I would not have to make this so small. I just really wanted to keep, if I did a lot of fussy work in here, then I can definitely show off the pattern paper in the background. And that's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to completely. Do both. Okay, well, there we go. Got the answer. Thank you, Trisha. Sometimes I'm a little, I don't know. And I also want you guys to tell me what you want to see. This may or may not work. I have not tried the two different ones. We will find out. All right, so stamp up the first one. Stick it down. The only downside. Oh, I didn't think about that. Actually, we might be okay. I think we'll be okay. Uh, it's no... Hmm. No, yeah, we're fine. Sorry, I had to rethink that. I'm just thinking this, the brain farts. You totally stopped me. The stencil or the, the negative is three little guys and they're kind of a pain in the tuchus, but we don't have to do the dauber. I can just paint directly on there. So that's why I was like, I don't think I can. I think I can. As long as the bigger one and I have the negative for that, we're good to go. So see how easy it is to pop this out? So simple. All right, and then come in. Way. I need to put my adhesive on there and I'm totally putting, hang on, I got to make sure I put the dot on the correct side so I don't screw it up. So literally I just take a little darker and stick a dot on there <laughs> so I don't make a boo-boo and uh, screw that up. All right, so I got my adhesive on there, stick this down, making my mask. Again, you don't have your own mask. You can easily do one with a post-it note. Now that I remember the name. Okay, so now this one we're gonna have to draw in the extra because it's supposed to be, well, I'll show you the examples that they were giving. So it's supposed to be like hanging like up here coming out of the foliage, but we're gonna kind of change it up a little bit. I think they had another one here. No, it's the only time they ever showed that one. So they have it looking a little differently. But you know, we're gonna do our own thing. So this way, you know, I, I wanna leave this open again to put that stamp. Go with that, see how it looks. The worst case I can do is I can always get another sheet of white paper if it's like, no, that sucks. But you know, we'll be fine. So we are getting hot here. I always talk about the weather because it seems to be something that's super important to me. <laughs> okay, we'll lift this up. Oh, that looks cool. I'll just have to finish out how the vines go. That looks kind of fun, something a little different. Uh, we are going to hit 90 degrees here today. That is just crazy business. That is way too hot. So hot. And I, I, here I am. It's just, well, I'm going to move this up now. Boop, boop. I move it up because I want to be able to get my stencil in there really nicely. Now, what if you didn't want to do this part? Um, you could just paint this right away. You don't have to do the stencil thing like I'm doing. There's lots of options of what you could do instead of putting the mask down, especially if you don't have a mask or the stencil part, the negative versus the positive section. So lots of options you can do. All right, so I'm working with my background paper to decide what color I want my flowers. I'm kind of melding them together. And this is the background paper I chose for this flower. Oh, you guys are all talking. Oh, hey, Tiffany, how you doing? Talking to my son's urgent care and the, oh, God, you've had a busy day. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for coming back and watching the replay. Uh, I'm sorry, just catching up on everybody saying. Must be nice to be warm. Oh, gosh. You know what? I, you say that, 
but I, I always think that the heat is coming. And the next thing I know, it's going to be 105 degrees, of which I'm getting hot. So I'm taking off my top layer here. And I mean, it's not like I don't know how cold is. I'm from Canada. I've been in some crazy winters. I just, I'm a, I guess I'm a cold blooded person and I'm so used to the heat. We always gripe about what you live in. You know, if you've got curly hair, you want straight hair. If you want straight hair, you want curly hair. If you've got blue eyes, you want brown eyes, you know, whatever it is. We always moan and groan and complain about something because we don't have, grass is always greener, right? <laughs> That's okay. All right. So I'm going to take, I'm going to do, so look at the colors here and I'm going to pick, can you guys see those? Yeah, there they are. So here it is these three colors right here. So I'm going to take those and just Pounce that one in because remember we're going to come in with the colors and accentuate it and make them more. And then for the little ball things, for the lack of a better term, low hanging fruit is that bad? <laughs> Try not to be too into into ish, but I don't know what else to call little guys. <laughs> The, the little, no, no, I'm not going to go there. My mind will go way too far if that's the case. All right, it's very pale, which is cool. I love the paleness of that. All right, closing out a window so I can see what you guys are writing. Okay. And gloomy. I guess the sun's only in Texas. Well, I don't know. My parents are in Palm Springs right now. Apparently, it's pretty sunny there, too. <laughs> Okay, and now I don't need to worry about the masking of this anymore. There it is, because the rest of this we're gonna do is the painting. Okay, so got my water. And I'm gonna go with the darker color. Okay, making sure I covered up my ink, because again, remember, I forget to do that. And then adding in, and I almost kind of like the fact that I can see some of my little brush strokes, because it just adds the fact and I think I always gravitate towards flowers because you can't screw them up. It's very, very hard to screw up a flower. Other things, faces. Oh, I think faces are the, are the hardest thing to do because you have to make them look so symmetrical. And the more uneven and the more wild a flower is, the better it looks because in nature, flowers are imperfect and we're used to seeing it that way. And so it tends to look better when we make them look a little bit funnier and not so perfect. I'm gonna, a little bit of this darker color, I need some more water in here. Yeah, it's nice and dark. It's right in here. Do, do, do. This is like my faux water coloring. There, that looks okay, right? We going okay with that? How about buds, oh, buds, buds, I like buds better. <laughs> Buzz is a whole lot better than what I was trying to say earlier. It was bad. <laughs> Get a whole misleading direction on the other one. All right. I'm going to come in with the lighter color, well, the medium, I guess, on this guy. And then I'm going to hit a blend of both on this one because I didn't come in with the dauber. I'm just purely painting it. But I want this one to look a lot darker bring in because I think the colors are a pretty good match. That's not bad. So do you guys like watercoloring? I always have my brushes sitting on my desk. So I'm like, ooh, what else can I add as a brush? What else can I do? Do you rather color? Do you rather just leave it plain? I don't know. I, I mean I I I'm I tend to kind of go all over the place because I want to have fun and do different things. So yeah, I'm liking that. I went a little bit off. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Okay, next I am going to stamp my stem. So remove all my other stuff off of here. And I want my stem for this one. It's gotta come off this way. Kind of following, as you can tell my hands are like, ah! <laughs> so coming off this way, do that. Oh, I don't know why I didn't remember. So uh, I'm back from shopping so it can snow now. <laughs> Guys, it's still snowing. Ugh, how awful. <laughs> but you know what? I, I will take that over. I mean, the heat is fine. The mornings are gorgeous here. It's like 60s, 65. It's beautiful. And then there's the heat just sets in. But by the evening, it cools back off again. So that's kind of nice. But you realize we're only in April. 
and it's already hitting 90. So just to give you that frame of thought here about how hot it gets. <laughs> it's miserable. You know, in the in areas where it's winter, you always think about having to go heat up your car before you get in your car. You have to warm it up. Well, here you have to go cool down your car because it's so hot and you can't even touch your steering wheel. I've got to re-ink that again too, just with my pen. Because it is so blazingly hot in the car. And when you have little kids, same thing. You don't want to put your little kids in a car where it is, you know, the car is freezing. So you want to warm the car up. Well, here you got to cool the car down before you stick your kids in the car seat because the car seat could melt their butts because it's so hot. It's awful. Okay, so I got to think about how I am going to, I think I'm going to combine these all into one kind of stem. It's going to look kind of weird. Do my best. So I somehow cannot color this and talk at the same time. Does that look bad? That looks okay. And then we'll come up. I wanted them to cross, but it didn't happen. I didn't angle it enough. I liked it better when it crosses. That looks too funny that they're not crossing. You turn it around and go back into bed. <laughs> Supposed to get a blizzard on Friday. Oh, that's crazy. All right, so what can I do to fix that? Because I really like the look of the cross. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm debating what to do right now. Anybody got any ideas? <laughs> or I just leave it. I was trying to figure out if I could add. That's gonna look too weird. I should have really angled that one, but it's okay. We'll deal with that. It just looks a little funny, but you get the idea. I like the idea of the crossing. It almost like it completes it. Now they're looking kind of wonky. Ugh. I wasn't playing with that one, but it's live. You get what you get, right? <laughs> All right, this time to put my sentiment on, I'm gonna go back up in the corner. I don't know what I can do there. I gotta figure out some way to fix that. You know what, maybe for this one, we'll do that little banner. We'll do that little something that goes across there to kind of finish it. But I was thinking about putting a butt up a little higher, but then I got to do a lot more masking. <laughs> I got to re-mask everything now. Okay, well, let's try it. I mean, it's already looking kind of wonky anyway, so let's, let's play. Worst thing can do is that it gets weirder. The joys of... Playing. All right, stick my mask on. There we go. Okay. So if I have one that comes. So there were little guys I could stick on top of that. They were just a really super tiny, itty bitty. But here's one. And I can't do anything about the lines that are there. So let's try it. Crafting on the fly. What can I tell you? That's what art is though, right? Art is all about seeing what happens. You never know, it could turn out totally amazing. Oh, you didn't even notice. Put up a little bit higher. Well, I'm masking the ones first and I'm gonna play and see what we think. It goes then this way. This guy is so small, it's hard to tell which way to rotate it. Yes, this way, okay. Thing is like beady beady. That's just enough to cover it up. Oh shoot, it came off my finger. <laughs> and which way does it go now? I don't know if these little itty bitty guys are worth it. There. I think I got some adhesive on that. No, I didn't. Oh no, I did. Okay. Oh man, now I got smudgers on theirs. Okay, so I could do here. Let's try there. What do you guys think, there? Okay, well, we'll go over there. Because <laughs> everybody's like, yes, that looks great. <laughs> I like the interactive part of you guys going, yep. <laughs> And too late now, because I already did it. 
All right, so now I put all the little masks off. The little guys are so tiny, I'm never gonna find them again. I gotta put them right there so I don't lose them. Looks a little bit kind of crazy, but I think I can carry it over. I'm gonna do that first. Let me flip this around. Apparently I can't talk and draw like I said earlier. And then there was this funny Probably being way more critical to my own work than I need to be, but we do that. We're always way more critical. We see our own mistakes a lot easier because we made it. And other people are like, I never would have noticed that until you mentioned it. I'm like, oh, really? Because it's like super crazy to me. I could have also come in with green and so black. I don't know. Do you guys like that better? I make those really dark, but what are you thinking? Between stems. I'm not sure what you mean by between stems. Oh, you meant like in here? I could have done that too. I did it over there. I don't know. So the, the, the cool thing is, is guess what? I can always remake it again and do it again. All right. So, but due to my fact, my daughter's being super patient upstairs and I told her that we would do crafting later. We're going to make some little Easter bunny crafts. She wants to do that and have some fun. So we'll make some kid crafts here together. Being very patient. I wonder if she fell asleep. She's so quiet up there. I'm hoping she fell asleep. Possible. All things are possible. Adding my green. Let's go more green up here. Oh, and I gotta ink that too. I gotta paint those. And that is on the other one. Thanks for bearing with me in my I don't know where to put the stamp. <laughs> This one really dark. The water on it. Ooh, that one's really wet. Oops, go a lighter color. It's wiggling around on me too much. Sorry, I lost my chatter. <laughs> I'm not sure what else to talk about. I'm trying to get this done. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I have to go to the dentist tomorrow. There we go. There's something to talk about. I gotta go on my cleaning. Oh, ever since I had kids, my teeth, they sucked it all out of me. It seemed to be like some sort of big procedure, a root canal. I needed a crown. There was something after every kid. It's crazy business. They took all my calcium. Even though I was on supplements and stuff, it still didn't make a difference. I'm working on a card where stems don't meet and it looks like the flowers are floating. So I'm trying to cover up it. That's a smart idea. Yeah. I don't know if I really achieved that with this. It looks like it's kind of got some sort of spider web action happening here now, but you know, whatever. And there's this little bitty guy that's back here. I don't dread going to this. I don't mind dental procedures. I just, what I dread is the money is how much it costs. If I do have something else, nothing seems to be bothering me in my mouth right now. So I'm like, okay, I'm good, but still, it's like, how much money have I spent on things in my mouth? It's enough. All right. I'd rather spend it on crafting supplies. And this is where I'm going to have the problem because it's going to overlap right into that stem. I made it way too long. So we're going to go ahead and make our little banner on the top, and it'll probably help solve that problem. So white cardstock. I know I have extra. I didn't. Use it all up. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where's my extra white paper? I hide. I lose so much stuff on my desk because it's buried under things. And I wasn't planning on doing that otherwise. I would have had that. Oh, there it is. I put it on my other desk. Okay, so this is long enough. And how wide do I need this to be? Sorry, I know I'm kind of off camera here, three quarters of an inch. So I'm just measuring how the width of my little strip here. The 
the joys of live. Woo! This is why you put tape on your magnets so you can pull them apart when they do that to you. Because <laughs> that's why I do it. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the card and then decide exactly where I wanna put my little banner on the card. So I've got this piece and this piece. So flip, that looks really pretty, doesn't it? So pretty. I'm a blue green girl, you guys know that. I'm a sucker for the blues and the greens. All right, gotta figure out which way. So whatever paper you do choose to stamp on into this watercolor, make sure it's thick enough to actually take all of the wet of the water because I did kind of saturate part of it, which is absolutely fine. You know, I think any kind of water would work good. Now that way, that way, doesn't matter. We'll go this way. All right, so I'm a, I didn't cut my card base, but you guys get the idea. I'm just gonna use this as my guide here, changing it up a tiny bit. It's a little too long, as you can tell. So I'm gonna trim off a smidgers. Get a little shorter. Let's take off a half an inch. How's a half an inch look? Yeah, and I'm gonna fishtail it. So I'm gonna use the inside of this. Okay, use my little pen. I'll get the inside of the pen. And for the longest time, I could not remember how, what the, this word was called. It's like, you know, when you, the, you you cut the little inside out. So I make a dot, I always center the dot and then I get my scissors and I trim it out. I feel like I'm rambling right now. <laughs> I'm on the fly here, guys. I'm on the fly. This was not prepared to do this part. It's because I screwed it up. That's okay. Whee! But it'll make for something different than the other ones, which I like. Okay, so now I gotta go in with a paint dauber that has eluded me. There it is. And I want to probably could have inked it first just to add a little bit of color because I'm gonna have the white on the white. It'll help it kind of pop away from it. If you wanted to do a layered banner on a layered banner, you could do a black behind this and it'll kind of mimic what was happening. It'll also kind of cover up a little bit of my crazy, um, I can't think of the word stems action I have here. Okay, so I want to center this as best as possible. So where's my center? This is about a three and a quarter inch strip. So math is not my friend today. Do, do, do. There, I think that's about right. Just misaligned it again. Okay, that one there. Some people don't cut first. Stay, don't wiggle on me. So that way it doesn't cause problem. Um, they'll do the stamping and then they'll do all the cutting. I want to have my cut because then I might miscut and it won't be perfectly. I mean, I guess it could get screwed up either way. Come on. First stamp, really good, really good, really good. So don't screw up and make the double blurry crap. <laughs> But I had it fully in the corner. I guess I could always flip this over. No, I have the dots on the other side. Shoot. Okay. Try, try again. I know this is not the, the newest ink. Therefore, it's probably. Ah! It's okay. Somehow, I kept wiggling it. It'll survive. It'll be fine. Move that off. And then here is this. And then this can go right there like that. So it's just this little banner. Just like that. I, I didn't want it to line up with any of the other sizes and I'm debating, do I want to pop this up? I think I do and I don't know if I have any pop dots around. Oh, they're right here. So I get for having so much crap on my desk, I find little oddballs. They're not traditional pop dots. These are the ones that you can make the shapes on, but I can cut out little sections that I will not be using because I don't have the shapes. There's like extras around it, so. I use them like real pop dots. And then layer that on there, just like this. Cool beans, right? Ooh, I haven't used that phrase in forever. Cool beans. Do you guys use any phrases that nobody else is like, what are you talking about? There was something, oh, my son was helping moderate one time and somebody said something about you rock. 
And he was like, and he kind of whispered at me later, mom, what does that mean? You rock. I'm not a rock. He took it so literally. And I guess they don't use that phrase anymore. It's not a common, he's 13. And I had explained it. He's like, oh, okay. Now I get it. It's like, <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. It's like, he didn't understand the you rock. <laughs> okay, kid. <laughs> All right, so I don't have the backings to my cards, but you guys get the idea. All I have to do is just, you know, take an A2 size card and mat it. But I can show it to you like this. This is the blue version. Look how pretty that one is. And actually, I'm not winding all the craziness of the stems. It should have been in a green color, but, you know, it's all good. So there's that one, even with my wonky stamp. My two wonky stamps, but there you go. And then here is the other one. So you can really pick some fun pattern papers and then flowers of any kind, learning how to mask them. I think yeah, I'm on camera for all that stuff. And then just having some fun. So thanks so much, everybody, for stopping by and checking out my cool cards and sticking with me while I'm kind of rambling on. I know I kind of drug out for a little bit, but I there is another live event happening for... Um, well, every Wednesday, as you guys know, but and all, all supplies are going to be listed down below in the information section. Um, but on National Scrapper, or International Scrapbook Day, there is another live event going on, and there is also a whole bunch of prizes going on with that. So I will be live, and we're going to be doing like the video hop where you go from person to person to person, like we did for oh, we did it for uh, this one's called oh, Tiffany's the one heading it up, and I it's it's like for the love of scrapbooking or something, but we're doing another one, and I'm at the same time. I'm at 3 p.m. on the Saturday, and I can't remember the date. It's whatever National Scrapbook Day is. And then on the 20th is this Saturday. It's not a live event, but it's another chance for a giveaway, and giveaways from Lawn Fawn. Giveaway is from European Craft Paper Crafts paper crafters and there's a giveaway from vintage girl and there's a whole series of videos where we're all using different kinds of stamps and creating fun stuff and that is going up this saturday so hope you guys can check that out more chances to win yes amazing fun stuff and i hope you guys will come back next wednesday and keep checking out my videos and thanks so much for stopping by i really truly really appreciate it have a great day everybody Bye bye